just did something pretty stupid. I uh, don't know if you can see that. I'm having to do this with the flip camera. We took some windows that had some broken sashes over to a dumpster on another site, and I was raising them up, and one of the glass panes fell out on my arm. So, the most ridiculous thing is that, uh, guess where my first aid kit was? <laughs> it was in my range, but my little day pack I, I used for um, scout, you know, youth training for firearm training. For the NRA stuff, I have a, a first aid kit. All my first aid kits are in that same pouch. And, you know, I've been doing this construction stuff for 34 years, and I've taken it for granted, I guess. I've never really been hurt, thank God. I never had to make a workers' comp claim, and of course, this is not gonna be a workers' comp claim either because I'm the owner of the company. I'm not covered, I'm exempt from workers' comp. Thankfully, I don't have to pay premiums on myself. But anyway, that's another story. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go over here to this uh, local emergency room. and uh, But I've learned a lesson here about first aid because I would have I really felt bad if it had been buried. Maybe they'll let me take the camera in with me. I'll uh, get a few pictures of it. You remember when we had the tornadoes? Mm -hmm. We had some. We were building a new house, and uh, we had some windows that got broken out from the wind throwing debris against them. And um, is there a way to do it without putting stitches, or do you have to? Oh, I don't think so. Not really. No. You can't just not in that spot. Put that tape on. It. No, that's uh, <laughs> your elbow and your bend in your no. Yeah. They'll numb it up for you. Can you want to get it before all the blood's still there so it looks better? It's funny, they keep asking me what my pain level is, and I was like, it was nothing until you started putting hydrogen peroxide on there. <laughs> uh, oh, gosh. Uh, <laughs> okay, th this is the part that does hurt and sting a little bit, but oh. after this, you shouldn't feel anything. Oh. We gotta go all the way around the cup. But the more medicine we put in, the the less you'll feel. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I know. It ain't so. working yet. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh, it will start working in a minute here. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's starting think, to work. Yeah, I think we're all the way around it. I guess it gives you something to do too while you're... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take your mind off. Hoping it's not going to hurt too bad. Oh, well it shouldn't... Uh, now that we've numbed it, but if you do still feel it, uh, let me know and we'll put some more numbing medicine in it. Just going to start in the middle there. How many stitches do you think it'll take? Um. Maybe seven or eight. What kind of a... Is it a pretty bad cut or just a... It's not that bad? It's not it? that bad. Yeah. It's not... It didn't get down to... Yeah, the, the thing that worried that me the worst was the infection thing because, you know, you got these stories lately about oh. the girl who got yes, the man-eating flesh, right. you know, bacteria yeah. or whatever. Right. Certainly bad. I did see in the paper the other day, though, that she was uh, going to be dismissed from the hospital. I think she's going to some rehab center. But, oh, wow. But at least survived. And but I think that's pretty unusual. And, of course, her cut occurred in water, didn't it, or in some... Yeah, you know, it's funny because I carry a lot of bottled water around and I started to clean it out with that. I thought, uh -huh. oh, I'm going to wait. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I thought, what, if, what if this water, I, I keep water to wash my hands. Uh -huh. Like if I don't drink all of a bottle, I'll keep it 
uh, oh. in a, a little side pocket in right. my truck for washing our hands. Uh-huh. And I started thinking, hmm, this water may not be clean. Yeah. Kind of short there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it with that one. That little bit. But we'll try. Eight. Eight. I think I got my t shirt. Yeah. That was yeah. the worst thing. When you say keeping it dry, I can take a shower though, right? Uh, yeah, just dry it good afterwards. Okay. Don't keep it. Con constantly moist or anything right. like that. And we'll put a bandage on it, but probably after a day or two you can just leave it open to the air. Probably okay. just a, it may take a little more than a band-aid, but we have some good band-aids. Surely it looks a lot better. So it Oh, it's a non-stick. Yeah, it's, it's a non -stick. zero form. It's like a medicated dressing. And then when you pull it off, like tomorrow, I'd leave this on for today, hmm. then you will just put a Band-Aid on it. Okay. You don't want this too tight. You want to be able to still use your arm. Yeah. But it splints it a little bit. Go ahead and put a little piece of tape on there for you. Does that feel comfy? Mm-hmm. I like our little bitty hospital on this side of town because it's usually not that busy, thankfully, but that was just a silly accident. And uh, I'm all patched up now. Got to come back in about 10 days to get the stitches out. It ended up being eight or nine stitches and uh, really mad at myself for doing that uh, you know it's just a bad example really a safety bad safety example you know I should have never let raise that window sash above my head like that the dumpster we I usually and this is one reason why I order short dumpsters the they're lower, they're like four or five feet off the ground, maybe five feet, but they're like longer than normal dumpsters because they're easier to hand load. This particular dumpster was probably eight feet tall, so we were having to raise things above our head. And I even told Barrett to, uh, 
you know, back up, uh, be careful because, you know, there's a, there was a possibility of glass falling out of this sash that had been broken by the storm damage a while back. Anyway, long story short, it was an avoidable accident. It was a wake-up call, A, to make sure I always keep my first aid kit in the truck, not in my day pack for NRA training. And B, just to, uh, I even kind of called out what was going to happen, so I knew the danger, and I should have just, uh, I should have waited till I had a stepladder. So, and it's hard for me to describe this, but I, anyway, the point is I knew the danger and I should have, uh, I should have heeded my own advice. Anyway, lesson learned. The main thing is I've never had a workers' comp and, uh, claim because of my safety concerns with my employees and subcontractors. You know, but I, I should use the same example or the same standards on myself. So, anyway, just thought I'd take you guys along on that and uh, mainly make a video to remind myself <laughs> what not to do in the future. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys.